Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ima ba'd. Many of the people, and usually this is the case because of misguidance, they don't want to speak ever about the concept of bid'ah and heresy and those issues in Islam. Nor do they want to talk about sunnah, the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And I think a lot of it has to do from, either from ignorance or out of fear that what they are following and what their imam is upon and what their sheikhs are upon and what their marid is, is doing and calling the people to is not in accordance with what Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was upon and is not in accordance with what the sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een were upon. And so this causes fear for the people often. But when we look very closely at the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and what he warned against because he wanted Islam to stay in its pristine state and that the people be guided to paradise, the Jannah to Fardos. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam only wanted good for the mushrikeen, even the pagans of Quraysh. That's what he wanted. He didn't want misguidance for the people. So he left, as he said, alayhi salatu wa salam, two things. That if you follow it, you will not be misguided. Kitabi la wa sunnati. He said the Quran, the book of Allah, the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That that is our success. And that is wanting good for ourselves in the ummah. That's why we have to call to the Quran and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And so much so that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam during the khutbah, during the time, the Juma prayer, when he's preaching to the masses of the Muslims, alayhi salatu wa salam, wa radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een, that he alayhi salatu wa salam would begin the khutbah with this very well-known statement, which you will almost always find the khatib mentioning this sunnah, because it's from the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, showing us the importance of it, that we have to speak against innovation in order to keep the Sirat al-Mustaqim straight. And we have to speak against religious heresy and innovation in order to keep that pristine path from being tainted and in order to keep the people from being misguided and ourselves misguided. And this is why the Prophet ﷺ said on Yom Al-Jumu'ah, Amma Ba'd, as for what comes next. فَإِنَّ خَيْرَ حَدِيثِ كِتَابَ اللَّهِ وَخَيْرَ الْحَدِي هَدِي مُحَمَّدٍ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ وَشَرُ الْأُمُورَ مُخْتَفَاتُهَا as was narrated in Sahih Muslim. The Prophet والسلام, would say during the khutbah, he said, as for what proceeds, verily the best speech is the speech of Allah. It's the speech of Allah. Allah spoke the kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the Quran, the divine speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the book of Allah, the best speech is the book of Allah. And the best guidance is the guidance of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Not meaning Elijah Muhammad of the group in the 20th century who, who uh, now are under the leadership of Louis Farrakhan, the uh, nation of Islam. No, that's not the Muhammad we're talking about. Nor is it Muhammad Ghulam or any other Muhammad of any particular group or sect, like the Khadiani or, 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 any, or any of these other ones. But we're talking about Muhammad ibn Abdullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who was a prophet, alayhi salatu wa sallam, who was sent with the Quran. The Quran was revealed to him, alayhi salatu wa sallam. So his guidance is the best guidance. It isn't through uh, democratic elections. That's not going to be the, the best guidance. What the people with the majority say, the majority votes that men should be able to marry men. Or the majority says that uh, we should invade such and such country. Or the majority says that uh, it's unanimous, unanimous decision that we should not rule by the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet No, that's not, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the best guidance is the guidance of Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in his sharia. 
And the worst, the Prophet said, the worst affairs is that which is innovated. Not meaning new technology, the fact that we're using a MacBook computer, the fact that we, we have light and um, uh, we have the technology that we have and we have the 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 mobile phones and we have uh, all kind of technology that we benefit from. No, what we're talking about innovative matters, we're talking about things related to the religion of Islam, that it is not permissible for any of us to come up with a new form of, the, of worship, a new way of worship. It's already, the religion has been perfected as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم واتممت عليكم نعمتي Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, this day I perfected my religion for you. And I've completed my favor upon you. And I have been pleased for you, Islam as a religion. That's Islam. And that's the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So anything, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, Shurrul umuri muhtatatwa. The worst of the affairs is that which is innovated. And then he alayhi salatu wasalam said, وَكُلُّ بِذَاتٍ ضَلَالًا And every innovation is misguidance. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from misguidance and practice to not be afraid of the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah bless us with tawfiq and practicing it. وَسَلَّى اللَّهُ وَسَلَّمَ عَلَى نَبِيِّنَ مُحَمَّدٍ